Hey guys, this is Travis with Diesel Laptops. Today we're hooked up with the Texa off-highway unit to Caterpillar Grader. And I'm just going to kind of run through these prompts here and get us connected. As you can see, the first one we're going to go into, Vehicle Checkup OEM. And give this just a second to load. The ignition's on, and this is just a 12H grader. Okay. Take just a few seconds here to connect. And there we go. Okay. What this is going to do, general overview, give you all your faults here. This is going to give you your fault codes, your FMIs, and of course your counters there. But what this basically does under this, it scans for all your ECMs here. Give you your information there, whether there's errors in them or not. But we're actually going to go through and connect to some of these. Alright, I'm going to go down here to the engine first, and this is up to model year 2015. And once again, the ignition's already on here as soon as this loads. There we go. Okay, give it just a second to connect. And we're connected. Okay, your faults, same as before, you can double click them. This is going to give you your fault codes. And your parameters, you got 59 different parameters here, and you can actually graph them out. But I'm just going to kind of scroll through, let you see them all. Everything from, you know, trouble codes telling you whether there's an error in there, which is basically just going to be your statuses to giving you some hours and, you know, gallons and, of course, percentages and things like that. The ECU information pretty standard but activations this is good stuff this is where you can run your cylinder cutouts and then settings these are things you can go in here and change on this thing and of course you know your injector coating but we'll back out of here and jump over to the next one okay just load up again all right next one I'm gonna go into here is just gonna be this instrument panel and the display unit. Same deal as before, you're gonna have to go back through the prompts and reconnect here. Ignition is on. And we'll give it just a second to connect. Okay. Once you make it to the parameter scanning in progress, it's usually pretty quick. Okay, we've got two active faults in here. But we're going to jump over the parameters first. This is going to give you 43 different parameters. A lot of these are going to be statuses, being in the instrument panel here. But you will have your couple in there that are actually giving you some percentages and things. Okay, back to these faults. Double click them. Going to give you your fault code, your FMI. Just kind of scroll through and let you see. Okay. ECU information, same as before, ECM part numbers, software numbers, nothing too interesting, but settings. This is where you can get in here with your accurate grade system, a bunch of changes you can make in here. Overall, I'd say excellent coverage for the age of the machine. Thanks for watching.